Welcome to the Ron Johnson YouTube channel. If you first time tuning in, what I do is I allow those to motivate themselves through the information I'm going to give them. So if you're looking to find more information, you're looking to pinpoint where you're lacking, remember, change comes with them. So today's topic is the second reason why relationships fail. The second reason, reason why outside, if you guys missed my first one, was about we always look for what's wrong in a relationship instead of looking for what's right in a relationship. Today, the second reason why relationships fail is vulnerability. Most time in any relationship, we're afraid of being vulnerable. I'll tell you a reason why I want to bring this up and how it resonates with me. Nobody likes being vulnerable. Me, I don't like asking for help. I like doing things on my own. I like knowing I can. I want to pay my own bills. I want to create my own life. I want to do everything on myself. I don't need any help at all. Let me tell you why is this an important relationship. In a relationship, things can change. One minute, one person can make more money than the other. One minute, the person gets sick and the other one's not. One minute, this can happen, that can happen. A lot of changes happen in a relationship. But usually, the reason why people get angry is because they're not vulnerable. So I'll tell you an example that happened just a few days ago. So I'm joking around my fiance and we're talking and comes to find out, so she wants to go to the attic and I say, well, not right now. And she thought, I said, I don't want to do it at all. That's just not right now. I was busy doing something else. That I guess through the fact she didn't like what I said, it hit a button of her, she got upset. She didn't hit the button of mine or a soft spot, which is, well, you got pay, you got you gotta have your you got pay your own keep around here. And that boom, that hit me right in the chest. I'll tell you why. So as I'm going through transition in my business and my career, I'm relying on her to take care of more of the finances while I just don't get myself going and going through transition. She's been very supportive. But when she said that, is that I need to pay my own keep as a slang for saying that I got to do things around the house because she's paying all the bills. That's how I interpret it. So she didn't say it. I interpret it as, one, you don't think I'm doing enough. Two, because you're working, I should do everything else. So I, I got very vulnerable. I hated it. So I got upset. Then I hit another button of hers. And the conversation goes in a way where we both hit a red button. And we had to be vulnerable. I had to admit that what she said hurt me even though I didn't want to. She had to admit the fact that what I said made her upset. So vulnerability, what she said made me hurt, hit a soft spot. What I said to her, hit a red button. And that's about being in a relationship is you have to open up, you have to be vulnerable to things that you may not like. You may have to dig deep. Like I told her, I said, look, you know, I'm gonna continue to do the work in this relationship because relationships are continuing work. I hope for you do the work too. You go see someone to get you help because a lot of times in our childhood, if we don't do the work, a lot of our experiences show up in our adulthood. So we're the version of our inner self and the child as an adult. That's another YouTube channel I explain about that later on. But the best, best part about relationships is being vulnerable. Tell the person that hurt me. Tell the person that I don't, I'm, I don't feel too uh, strong in the situation. If you always go to your friends to, to tell them how he or she treats you unfair, they're always going to agree with you. But they don't know the other side of the story. There's always two sides to a coin. There's a heads and always a tail. But if you open up to your partner how what they said hurt you, be good, bad, right, or wrong, that gives them a chance to also be vulnerable and express what hurt them. Not just holding it in. And when that happens, beauty happens. When that happens, you guys actually connect on a deeper level to the onion. Life is about an onion. Each layer is another layer, each layer is another layer, until whenever that end happens, it happens. So I hope you guys understand that the second part to failing in a relationship is that no one wants to be vulnerable or hurt in any situation. More importantly, we don't communicate our hurt, our vulnerability, and that's what it starts to strain more and more because we don't communicate. We turn to our friends for happiness, we turn to other things for happiness, we want to turn to someone that understands how we feel when they don't, and they don't understand the other person's side of the story. So I want you guys to go to www.ronjohnsoncoaching.com, click on the subscribe call button, or join my class on positivity, and that way you can create a better life for yourself, a better life for people around you, and feel better daily. Thanks for listening.